Good morning everyone and welcome to a brand new video. It is the start of the week and guys, I can feel like summer is coming today and I know I said I won't talk about the weather but I just have to because it's sunny, bright blue skies and the sun actually has like heat. Like that's how you know that it's like changing the seasons because the sun actually has like proper heat. Not just like if you stand for a minute you might get a little bit warm. It's actually warm, like it's making the house warm. Where like the windows are warm. I went outside just now to do the bins, fancy. And it was actually warm. Like that means summer is coming, which makes me very, very happy. And it's actually so lovely that I've opened up the kitchen window, which I've never done in this house because obviously we moved in winter. So I've never opened it apart from like just to air it out like when we need to air it out if like we're doing a big clean. But I've never actually opened it because I'm warm. So even that is like something in itself, like how crazy. So this morning, what I have done so far, I can just see like these flyaway hairs. And then you've got the reflection of the sun. And you can see it also a little bit of my hair is broken off it's a lot shorter than the other bits so i'm not sure what's going on maybe i've been having way too much heat on it lately so i decided to air up my hair and go back to that for a little while just to recondition my hair and not put so much heat on it but anyways so this morning i have been just doing a little bit around the house i just needed to do a little bit of a refresh i needed to do some washing dishwasher clean those types of things and that's what i've been doing this morning which puts me in a good mood anyways because i feel like it's getting to that like spring refresh stage where i can go around and like refresh all of our potpourri get some new diffusers make it smell more spring like stop using all the winter scents and yeah i thought that's what i should probably get on with this morning and then i've literally just made myself some lunch so i made a well, i didn't make it i heated up some lentil and tomato soup, I think it is. I just grabbed it from Morrison's, it looked quite nice. And then I'm just having that with some Rivitas and my cup of tea. This is my very boring lunch, but I love it. Soup and crackers, where can you go wrong? So I'm gonna eat some of my lunch. I then need to jump on another meeting. And then a little bit later, We'll have a think about what to do but this vlog will be a couple of days vlog over the next few days so it will just probably be a a normal at home type thing and we'll do some fun stuff together hopefully but i wanted to jump on here and just make the intro now before i sat down and ate my soup and then ended up with like soup all over my face and then get on the camera and then realize and then i can't edit it and boring you boring you but something else that the weather is making me feel is like I need a little bit of a refresh of a wardrobe because it means that spring is coming therefore spring clothes should be coming into the shops. So while I'm eating my soup I'm going to have a little browse of H&M. If I do pick up anything then when it comes this week then I can show you guys because I do also want to pick up an outfit for date night because obviously it's valentine's day next week and we've decided to celebrate it this weekend instead of the monday so we're going to go out to dinner on saturday and then also probably go out somewhere on sunday as well and do a little bit of exploring so i need to get an outfit for date night on saturday and also potentially a nice outfit for sunday just for our, our nice date weekend because we've not done that in a while because we've been so worried about leaving bonnie we haven't really gone out that much just us two but we said that it'll be okay to leave bonnie for a couple of hours and we'll go and have a lovely dinner so i'll i'll probably vlog that they're getting ready of that and yeah probably they're getting ready maybe a few clips while we're there but we'll see i think i might put that in another video actually so i think this will be like a this week and then we'll do like a date weekend video as well but yeah i'm gonna do a bit of scrolling on h&m so i'll let you know if i find anything good or if h&m even has any spring stock in because i don't know when the shops start to put it in i did have a look last week and there wasn't much in there it was still very wintry clothes so i'm hoping that they're started i don't know if that's me because of the weather and i'm being optimistic but we will have a look but i'm gonna eat some lunch now have a scroll and then catch you in a little bit gusto delivery has just arrived it is literally becoming my favorite part of the week on a monday to get the gusto delivery and i feel like i've spoken about it a million times 
so I won't keep going on but it just means that for the next four days we're actually going to eat some like healthy meals which I need because our weekend was filled with banana bread and snacks so very happy to get the gusto delivery in so I'm literally just going to unpack this recipes for the week just in case you are interested is what have we got we've got an all-in-one spicy lamb ragu i'm not even going to try and pronounce the pasta that looks lovely mango chicken skewers and sag sweet potato rice and then one pot black pepper chicken dal with naan it looks lovely as well and then sticky lean beef satay wraps every week i try and get something different like what we've not had before just to try some different meals out i'm thinking tonight what should we have tonight oh that's really quick now we'll do something a bit better than that one i think i'm gonna go with the chicken tonight the mango chicken skewers and sag sweet potato rice i think we'll go with that although ray doesn't really like fruit in his food but he'll have to have this although it's not mango is it it's like mango it's mango chutney i love mango chutney yeah that's what we're gonna have tonight that is the choice for tonight bum bum all right let's get this unpacked into my containers in the fridge decided anyways to make some more banana bread the one that i made in the last video i'll put it up on screen if you haven't gone and watched that but i made some banana and chocolate loaf which was absolutely lovely and we still had some bananas left and also some sour cream from the recipe and otherwise it would just gone to waste so i thought i'd make another one quickly tonight me and wade are supposed to be eating well so he's going to be happy that i made it but unhappy that i've made us eat some dessert when we said that we'd eat really healthy this week but there's no point in the rest like the ingredients going to waste is there so that is currently in the oven i did slightly change the recipe i added in some protein powder just because whenever i add protein powder in something it just makes me feel a little bit better that i'm eating it it's not just like pure sugar like i'm also getting some protein in as well so i added in in some cinnamon danish protein powder from my protein so i'm hoping the cinnamon mixed with the banana will taste really nice so we'll see but that's currently in the oven and then i was literally just about to start making dinner so i'm making what i said earlier which is the mango chicken skewers and i suddenly thought that this video is going to go live on thursday so if what i wanted to do is on the weekend have a bit of a q a while i was getting ready for the date night so if you've got any questions that you would want to ask or like there's anything literally anything like any subject at all like questions about the house questions about me questions about me and wade questions about bonnie like literally anything if you thought of any question that you'd want to ask us please can you put them down in the comment section below also what i'll do is i'll put up some question boxes on my instagram which is madison louise i'll put it up on screen and i'll also put up a question box on made it at home's instagram as well so i'll put that on screen as well i'll put up some question boxes on thursday and on friday so they'll still be there when you see this video so if you don't want to ask it in the comment section down below then you can go over to the instagram and ask questions on there please ask whatever you like i was hoping if i get enough questions together then when i'm getting ready for our date on saturday then i can do a little bit of a great review of me whilst answering some questions it makes it a bit more interesting then doesn't it than me just sitting there doing my makeup and hair and like just running you through the products at least if i can ask answer some of your questions and that might make it 
a bit more interesting to watch but i suddenly just thought that so please do that they will be live now so go over to the instagram i'll put it in the comment section below and that will be absolutely fabulous thank you okay so i'm gonna make dinner now i've made a dinner a few times before. i'm sort of unsure of like what you guys want to see like what I don't want to bore you with the same thing so I don't want to make another dinner with you and you're just thinking oh my god not the same thing again but obviously when I film in the week my routine is pretty much very samey like apart from doing a few other bits like we might do some random stuff or might do some decorating but obviously we're focusing on the hallway at the moment so that's in a separate video so apart from that I'm trying I want to obviously make sure that these vlogs are still really interesting but let me know if you like those sorts of things like if you like cooking dinner with us or if there's anything that you want to see as well because I want to make sure that these vlogs are enjoyable but I'm going to crack on with dinner so I'm probably going to see you a little bit later so I just had to really quickly show you a banana cake that has kept its bottom on the last video obviously the half of the bottom like fell off of the cake I think it was because it's too warm so what I did this time was I let it really really cool down in the loaf tin and I've let it cool for like an hour and I just took it out the loaf tin and it is perfect so that was definitely the reason so this is it it has kept its bottom and it is looking lovely so if you do try that banana cake recipe that I put in the last video make sure you leave it to cool down for at least an hour so that you do not lose your bottom like me and it comes out perfect so second time's a winner and I'm waiting for Wade to get home because I haven't told him that I've made it yet so hopefully it's a nice surprise for when he gets back. Hey oh beautiful, good morning, good <laughs> afternoon. I don't know when I've missed you. I've got something. I've got something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's off. Hey yo, Kelly. I missed your dog. I missed your dog. I missed your dog. I missed your dog. Yeah, hello, Kelly. Hey yo, Kelly. What you been up to? What you been up to? Oh, you're so lucky. She just went outside. Just go outside. And did a wee. Did you do a wee wee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, wee wee. Yeah, you take your little bit, your little bit, your little bit. Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. I missed you. I missed you. How was work? And I've missed you. How was work? Work was good, babe. Grinding, grinding. Oh. Okay. I'll make something for you. Yeah. What you mean, girl? What you mean? Hey, you're girly. Hey, you're girly. Yeah, hey, you're girly. Hey, you're. Uh, uh, Let me back off my jacket for this. You being serious though? And look, the bottom's on. The other day, you made an unreal banana cake, yeah? You made an unreal banana cake. And I said to her, we, we had, I think we had the last two slices the other day, didn't we? Yeah. Like yesterday or yesterday something like that. Yeah, we ate it in like two days. And as I, as I was slicing it, I gave it to you and I was like, babe, when you making another one? Like, I wasn't trying to say like, can you make another one? But it was scrumptious. But we're here now. I've just come up from work. Look. We've got gausto in there, we've got banana cake on there. And the bottom's on. Unless it's cool. Oh. That's all you had to do last time, innit? Yeah, I should have left it cool. Because once it cooled up there as well, it actually stayed together, even yeah. when it was packed back in. Yeah, it needed to cool it. Okay. But also, I added something in this one. Yeah. Because I thought it might make us feel a bit better about eating it. I've added some, some protein cinnamon powder. protein powder. <laughs> Oh. All right, let me continue with the dinner. Oh, yeah. You're fine. You're fine. You're messing up. You're fine. Not supposed to eat. Look at the tail. <laughs> Look at the tail wag. <laughs> Good 
Good morning, it is now a few days later. I am currently sitting in the pink and sage bedroom. I feel like I'm in here quite a lot at the moment just because it's quite an airy room and there's quite a lot of space and when we're like decorating other bits of the house, it just feels like this room is the room that I can actually like sit in and like show you stuff. And what I've got is a big box from H&M. So I thought that we'd go through it together. I did mention, I think that I was doing a little bit of a shop and I wanted to try and find something to wear this weekend for our evening. We're only going to dinner, so I didn't want it to be like too OTT, but something that would look nice. I could wear it with either boots or I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear heels yet. I'm gonna have a think about it, but I wanted to get a few bits. And while I was on there, I saw quite a couple of bits that I liked. So I thought we could run through them together. What I'll do if I try any of them on, because this video I want to put up tonight and it's currently Thursday. So if I've got enough time to try them on and then edit the video, then I'll put some cutaways on screen here just with me trying them on. But let's get into the box. I just hit myself. <laughs> I just hit myself in the head with the plastic. Um, but it is a massive box. I did look mainly in their new in section because I think I mentioned I wanted to get some bits that I could like wear to transition into spring and it's weirdly today it's actually the first day that it's quite grey and cloudy but it's been like really really sunny so I wanted to get a few bits to get myself out of the winter fashion out of the wrong necks and I'm still kept it quite like a neutral colour palette. I actually did cook quite a lot, more than what I saw, but I thought it'd be fun to go through it together. I'll link everything down in the description box below, so if you do see anything that you like, then it'll be down there. So, where should we start? Let's start with shoes. So, I picked up a pair of boots from H&M, which I really, really liked. I liked the colour of them. They're quite a neutral colour, and I think you'll probably know by now, I'm into my greens at the moment, so into my sages and green obviously in this dress and even like khaki greens so i saw these boots and they're quite like military-esque and i thought they would look really nice in like a neutral outfit so they are these boots here so they're like the military style boots they've got the i like when it's like the same color on the sole as on the shoe and it's all just that one uniformed colour but I thought those with either some jeggings or like leather look leggings or even with like tights I'd wear them or even with like a long jumper dress I thought they would go with like quite a few outfits so I picked those up let me actually find the outfit that I was planning to wear them with because then I can show you the whole outfit together and then do a bit of a car away so my plan So my plan to wear the boots, also I then saw this shacket and last year I was absolutely obsessed with shackets in like spring and autumn and they seem like they're back again this year but the ones that I got last year were quite like patterned ones and I got check ones and different colours whereas this time I went to get a very very neutral shacket. So I picked this one up, I got it in quite a large size, I got it in a medium because I wanted that like really really oversized look. So this is the shacket that I picked up. So it's really really oversized, it's that really nice like cream neutral colour and then it's got the sort of like, and then it's got the cream sort of like darker cream buttons as well and I thought that would look really lovely. Like imagine this like oversized with like level look leggings and then those boots. I thought that would make like a really, really cute outfit. So I picked that up. And then following on with the neutral trend, and I even thought I could wear these with the boots. So instead of having to wear like skinny jeans or skinny leggings all the time, I thought I might try these jeans on and I'm not sure one if they're going to look nice on me because I always have a bit of a hard time with like mum jeans and making sure that the shape and the size sort of fits me. So mum jeans that I've got in the past, I've got some from like Zara which I love and but from other shops I found it a bit difficult to find some that I really liked and actually fit me really well. So I picked these up which are 
mum jeans, high waisted, and they're at an ankle length. And they say that they're like comfort stretch, which is good for me because I've tried like rigid mum jeans before and they just did not go up my leg. So I got these in my usual size for jeans, which is a size 10, especially for a mum jean. If I'm going for a skinny jean, I might go like eight to 10. But if it's a mum jean, definitely a 10. And again, in that really nice neutral color. And I thought they would look quite nice with that outfit. So hopefully that will be a good outfit altogether and a nice neutral transition and then because i liked those jeans so much i then picked them up in another color as well i'm not sure if these are exactly the same style but it's another pair of mum jeans i have a million and one skinny jeans so i thought i'd add some mum jeans to my wardrobe and these ones, and these are slightly different fit. So these are a loose mum fit. Again, high-waisted ankle fit. And then they have the roll up on the ankle there. And again, I really like this colour. So we'll give those a try on and see what they look like. And then, and then I wanted to get a couple of jumper dresses. I love a jumper dress and I like live in jumper dresses a lot of the time when I'm working from home. And a few of my jumper dresses are very like high roll necks, which is obviously great for winter. But as we're transitioning into spring, I wanted to get some that were a bit lower. So these are more like mock turtlenecks, I'd say like half turtlenecks. And they're a midi length. So they've got that sort of mock turtleneck design there. They're long sleeve, they're ribbed, which I always find quite flattering in netwear. And then they come quite low down. So I can wear these like without tights now. Like we're getting to that weather where I can wear a midi jumper dress with no tights. And I thought there would be a good transition piece. Again, it's in that like khaki greeny colour, which I'm really loving at the moment. So I picked that one up. And then I also picked it up in another colour as well because I liked the look of it so much. And this one is in more of like a blush pink colour, which I don't actually have that much pink in my wardrobe at the moment, to be honest. Especially where it's been winter, I've been wearing quite like darker colours. Whereas I thought this in spring would be quite a nice piece. And I really love the colour of it actually. So I'm hoping the fit of these is what I expected because obviously I've got two of them. So they looked lovely on the website. So we will give them a try on as well. But even just putting that colour against me, I feel like I feel like I do suit pink. I don't really wear it that often. I do have like a bright pink jumper, but apart from that, I think there's nothing really pink in my wardrobe. So we'll give that a go. And then the only sort of proper, proper spring dress that I found on the website that I liked was this one. And I thought this dress, I'm not sure on it at all actually. This is one that I'm definitely not sure on. I don't know if it's going to look a bit crazy on me because it's quite a balloon sleeve type dress. So I'm not sure if I'll enjoy it, but it's a very spring pattern. It's very loose fitting and it's this style of dress so i don't know if you're about to see it much hopefully i can put a cutaway here so you can see what it looks like on but it's got like a v-neck and then it's got like the long sleeves but they're almost like balloon sleeves because they've got that elasticated bottom and then it's quite a loose flowing dress so it's not very tight so i thought this pottering around the garden when i can get some flower boxes in because that's my plans for this year in the garden is to get some flower boxes so I can start doing some gardening. I've never gardened a day in my life, so it's gonna be an exciting journey this summer. But I thought this, with a pair of sandals just pottering around the garden, would be like a lovely, loose-fitting, breathable outfit. So hopefully, it suits me. And then the dress, I feel like I've done this, I've bought this big order, obviously hoping to find something for the weekend. But then I ended up seeing loads of stuff that I really liked. So it is way more than like a date night outfit. The dress that I did find that I thought I might wear this weekend. Again, it depends what it looks like when I try it on. And it's in black. But I thought black is a nice slimming colour for the weekend. Is this like shirt style dress. So I don't know if you're bad to see it properly. But it's a fitted long shirt style dress with a collar 
and then it's got a zip opening there and it looked quite nice and flattering on the model on the website obviously models are very very slim and very very tall which is the opposite to me because i'm very short but i thought because of the way it goes in and out on the sides then it might make it quite a flattering dress so that was my idea to wear this weekend so we'll we'll try it on and give it a go and see if we if we like it and the last two bits that i got just because i saw them and i loved them and i'm a sucker for a good jacket so the first one is a baseball style jacket so very american very oversized i got it in a medium and i got it in this brown chocolate color so it's a very oversized sort of like baseball jacket it's plain on the front and the back i do have another baseball jacket that i got from urban outfitters about a year or two ago but it's very more it's much more out there and loud it's got like a big design on the back whereas this one i thought was quite nice and simple it's got the two stripes which is obviously very usa style and then looks like that so i thought this open with even like a vest top my pair of mum jeans pair of boots i thought that could make quite a cool look as well so another one to give a go and the last item that i picked up was a coat and i wanted obviously i had my sort of winter jacket and it's still not warm like it's not hot it's still very cool and some days are still quite cold and blustery and where I'm like traveling into the office or even like for this weekend like when we go on the date night I was thinking like what coat can I wear because a lot of the jackets that I've got are very thick or long or just a bit too much I thought for the weekend's outfit so I picked up this which is a wool blend coat and I liked it because it came just there, so literally just below my knee. Whereas a lot of the other coats that I have are very, very long, they're like maxi coats. Whereas this is a bit more like just above a midi. And then I quite liked the colour of it. And then it's got a massive sort of tie waist in the middle. So hopefully that looks nice on. We'll give that a go as well. But you would have seen all the cutaways. So let me know if you like any of the things that I picked up. Let me know if there's anything you think I, you think I should send back. And if there is anything that you also like as well. Obviously I'll link it all down in the description box. So let me know. Let me know what you're thinking. I think, I think that was quite a good little haul. I needed a little bit of a refresh of the wardrobe. So quite enjoyed it. And it's all in my very neutral colour palette. Which I very, very much enjoy. Okay, so I just tried on everything you would have seen in the clips. It is a very hot business doing that, like getting an outfit, taking like a few snaps and then getting another outfit. Like I'm literally so hot right now. I'm going to go and stand outside for a little bit and get some fresh air. But on the whole, I think that haul was really successful. I liked the majority of those outfits. My favourites are probably these jumper dresses, so these ribbed jumper dresses i got it in obviously the khaki and the pink i love both of them so they're definitely a winner i'm actually going to keep the khaki one on now and have it and like wear it for the rest of the day the one piece that is going to be sent back is the black shirt dress it was just way too much for me it was really short it was really low cut it showed a lot of cleavage it's very tight um i'm sure i mean Wade might like that for the day and night because it's quite a sexy outfit but it's it just wasn't me it wasn't a bit of me so I think that's the item I'm going to be sending back everything else though I'm going to keep I loved it all I really like these jumper dresses I even like the spring dress which I didn't think I would like at all but it was just really airy and just something that I can see myself like wearing in more spring summer like put around in the garden like I said so I'm definitely going to keep that and then the first couple of outfits, I would say on the mum jeans that I loved both of them. But if you want more of like a comfy mum jean, then definitely the brown ones were a lot comfier than the cream ones. The cream ones were a bit more stiff, even though they said that they was like the comfort stretch. And the brown ones were a lot softer, so they're a lot more comfortable to wear. But I still love both of them, so I'm going to keep them both. And also the, all of the jackets I love. 
the shacket i love it i i love an oversized fit i know some people aren't into that type of vibe but i love an oversized fit so the shacket's definitely staying the baseball jacket's definitely staying i couldn't see myself like just wanging that on even like a pair of jeans wearing that on pair of trainers out the house like that type of vibe and then the coat i love the coat it's one of it's probably one of the first coats that i've had in ages which i absolutely love so that's definitely saying as well so on the whole a very successful haul i am now extremely hot and the place is a mess but i'm going to clean it up later i'm going to go downstairs now as i was trying on those outfits i did think to myself as well that i don't think i showed you my new boots i got them for christmas and i got two pairs of tan boots which you would have seen in the cutaway clips let me just grab the long ones because i literally just took them off after trying it with this green dress Ooh. so the two boots that i got for christmas were these two and i absolutely love them and i've got the so i've got short boots these are from ralph lauren so they've got the little rl sign on the side in gold and they're just a very sort of, I think quite an elegant shape because they're very thin. You can see that I've worn those quite a bit already. They're very thin in the toe and then they are just a very short heel, which is what I really needed in my wardrobe. A lot of my boots are very chunky, so I wanted some more elegant sort of boots in my wardrobe. And then these, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, are from Tommy Hilfiger. If I get that right. Yeah, Tommy Hilfiger. And they've literally, the only branding on them is that little gold emblem there. And then I love the ombre look of them. So they go from the tan into that sort of black ombre look. Also, if you can hear crying in the background, it's because Bonnie's downstairs by herself. And she doesn't like to be downstairs by herself. So I will go and get her in a second. But if I let her run around the house, she'll be eating every sock in sight. But anyways, yeah, so they have the dark sole and then they have the ombre look and then they come just below the knee and I have quite big legs like I have wider calves so sometimes it's quite difficult for me to find a boot that looks nice on my legs whereas I think these are really lovely and I think they look flattering and they fit around my calf lovely so those are my new boots that I picked up for Christmas so I think that will probably be the end of this particular video. By the time that we've done the haul and the cutaways and all that sort of stuff, I think I would have been talking to you for the last half an hour, which is the, about the time that we usually do on these videos. So, sorry that this was a bit of a weird one. It was like a bit of like day in the life and then it went straight to a H&M haul and that was it. So it might be a bit strange to watch it, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, we have been working busy bees away on the hallway in the last week so that vlog will be coming soon I did loads of painting yesterday so it is looking really lovely I'm quite excited to show you that and see what you think of it and also I'm going to film this weekend's date night I'm not sure how much I'll get on the actual night but I'll definitely do like a getting ready with us and get into the restaurant and that type of thing and then we're also going for a nice brunch on Sunday and maybe a little bit of shopping so that'll be fun but I please remember to leave us a question. I really want to do like a Q&A, but if we don't have loads of questions, then it's just going to be me jabbering on at you. So please leave a question down below or go to our Instagram, which I'll get put again on screen here and leave a question in the question box because the more questions we have, the more interesting it'll probably be for you guys because I'll actually be answering stuff that you find interesting or actually want to know about. So yeah. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And I will see you on Sunday. Bye.